let ace of one, ace of two, all the way to ace of 2018 be strictly increasing sequence of positive integers such that all of them are going to add up to 2018 to the 2018 power. That's a very, very large number. And we wish to find the remainder when a sub 1 cubed plus a sub 2 cubed all the way to plus a sub 2018 cubed is divided by 6. This question is crazy. We have this we have this crazy constraint that all of the numbers has to add up to this monstrously large 2018 to the 2018's power. And now they want us to compute something that's going to be even larger. And we, they want us to divide that by 6 and find the remainder. Who, obviously, trying to come up with the numbers and trying to do it by hand is not going to be the best way, in my opinion. So let's try to use modular arithmetic since we are examining remainder. So we wish to find a cubed plus a sub 2 cubed all the way to plus a sub 2018 cubed in mod 6. So remainder when we divide it by 6. And since we are looking at cubing numbers and examining that number in mod 6, why don't we try to why don't we try to experiment with cubing numbers and see how that changes the number in mod 6. So for example, 0 cubed is equal to 0 in mod 6. 1 cubed is going to be congruent to 1 in mod 6. And 2 cubed is 8 which is congruent to 2 in mod 6 and 3 cubed which is 27 is congruent to 3 in mod 6 and we seem to see some pattern. It seems like when we cube 0 we're going to get 0, when we cube 1 we're going to get 1, when we cube 2 we're going to get 2 and when we cube 3 we're going to get 3 in mod 6. Let's go all the way down to 5 and see if this pattern is going to persist. 4 cubed is 64 which is congruent to 4 mod 6, and 5 cubed is 125, which is congruent to 5 mod 6. So we're done, because this thing is telling us that any number cubed is congruent to the number in mod 6, because in mod 6, every number is going to be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And since 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 are all the numbers we have in mod 6, what all the numbers can be represented as, since and since cubing that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is getting us the congruency to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can state that number cubed is congruent to the number in mod 6. And that's simplifying our problem greatly. So that's telling us that a sub 1 cubed is congruent to a sub 1 mod 6, a sub 2 cubed is congruent to a sub 2 mod 6, all the way to a sub 2018 cubed simply being a sub 2018. So we simply have to find, we simply have to find a sub 1 plus a sub 2 all the way to plus a sub 2018 in mod 6. And we already know the value of this summation. That's 2018 to the 2018's power. So we simply have to find 2018 to the 2018's power in mod 6. Now how can we attack this question? It looks much more simplified than the this insane summation we had with all the cubing of numbers. Now we simply have to find 2018 to the 2018 mod 6. Well, let's start by simplifying 2018 in mod 6. And if you divide 2018 by 6, we are going to get, we're going to get 18, 38, 6, 36. We're going to get a remainder of 2. So we know this thing is 2 to the 2018 mod 6. And how can we find the 2 to the 2018's power in mod 6? Well, let's see if there's any pattern that we recognize about powers of 2 in mod 6. 2 to the first power is congruent to 2 in mod 6. 2 to the second power is when we multiply this thing by 2 or 4 in mod 6. 2 cubed is when we multiply this thing by 2 in mod 6, so which is 8. And 8 is congruent to 2 in mod 6, and we have it. We have 2, 4, 2, then 2 to the 4th is going to be 4, 2 times 2. And 2 to the 5th is going to be, once again, 2, mod 6, and so on. So we have this pattern of 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4 and so on. And for odd power, we get 2, and for even power, we get 4. So we know 2 to the 2018's power, 2018 is even, is congruent to 4 mod 6. 
and we're done. The answer to this question, this question is 4, so E.